All right, finally, we're back racing after a four month hiatus from the COVID-19 AMA Kenda National Enduro Series presented by Moose Racing is back at it. We got the KTM boys off injury with Josh Toth and Ben Kelly. We got Craig DeLong from Husqvarna joining the Pro 2 class. Ryder Lafferty making his first debut on the XC Gear Enduro Engineering Husqvarna race team. We're out here at Greensboro, Georgia for the Cherokee National Enduro. A little bit of rain Thursday and Friday. It's gonna make for epic conditions this morning. In Enduro's line selection is so critical. You, know, you can lose valuable time, you can gain valuable time on paying attention to lines. Reading arrows, being able to get little lines like this inside line right here, it's a straighter shot for this little embankment. This outside line goes around this, this tree right here, you slow up for it. It takes a little bit more time to go around that and uh, you'll lose valuable time. So, Or if you want to get around another lap or so, you only have one shot at it in an Enduro, you don't get to ride it very much. You got to get that one line the first time. With this little creek section here we're doing, we're seeing in the track, it's real hard to decipher on what's underneath. So it's best to always kind of unload the front end and get the front end past the hole. Instead of actually diving into it, it's kind of nice to be, maybe unload the front end just a little bit and jump into it, not sure what's underneath. So with a spot like this, and the more momentum you have beforehand, is way better than trying to get speed as you're in the hole. So a little bit of momentum beforehand, kind of jump into it just a smidge, but keep the front end light, you have a lot better opportunity in getting through it if there is a hole. <laughs> This little rocky section at the end of the day, you're tired, you know, it's, uh, you can definitely lose a lot of time and stuff like this. With this little rock ledge here, um, you can definitely go straight, but then there's, you know, the drop off, make a little time, make the next corner, if you can make the next corner. The safe bet, just kind of slide around the side of the rock, stay, keep your feet on, the, or keep your bike on the ground, tires on the ground, and slide around through here. You don't want to make any mistakes, especially late in the day. Like I say, the last section of the day, you want to take your time through this just poke along. It's um, it's not risk, worth the risk for the reward.
So, as far as this Enduro, is this one of your favorite? Do you like this place? Yeah, um, it's one of my favorite. I, uh, I, I like Pennsylvania, it's probably my favorite one, but uh, down here, down south, it's kind of similar to back home, the sand, the clay, and the pine trees, so it's pretty good. I like this place. As far as the terrain, though, it's today being a little bit tighter and more open, you, you liking one or the other, or has it got some good flow to it? You like the course? Yeah, it's all right. It's not the greatest what I remember in years past, but it's pretty good. It, it doesn't. I think we're running a lot of the stuff backwards, and it, it doesn't have much as much flow, flow as you like. Yeah, yeah, not much of a flow, but it's pretty good. How's your bike feeling? What do you got going on with your bike? Make any changes? Uh, yeah, I struggled a little bit first couple of tests, just with the front end, and uh, this last one we put a different front tire on, and uh, it worked out pretty good. So if I was in my prime and you're in your prime, who would win? I don't know. It, wasn't this your first win ever? <laughs> Cherokee? No, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> you still got time yet. Yeah, I know. It does the same. Good luck the rest of the day, buddy. Thank you. Be safe, man. Uh, Robert now, Norfolk, Virginia. Uh, riding 40A. So as far as Virginia compared, this is pretty similar? The, uh, terrain? the last test, test three, which flowed well and had some good bumps and jumps and roots was similar. But test one, with the real hard pack chop, the clay chop, and uh, that was uh, that was next level. That was tough. Would you rather have a, a little little uh, better row towards the front, or do you don't care to be this far in the back as far as having the trail blown out a little bit? I think those guys in the early row may have a slippery test. That last one, some sections. So, so you don't but mind you don't mind being in the back? Not here. I don't think this is getting blown out so bad. Um, there is one long rut, and you just gotta hold your speed and the roots are pretty pretty tough so far but that's just like what we have in Virginia so right. if you're not used to that you're probably struggling today so you're having fun though oh yeah that last one was a blast cool watch these bridges I, <laughs> the wooden bridges a little slippery yeah some guys are having some real trouble with the bridges yeah it's slippery but yeah. we'll see cool halfway good luck the rest of the day thanks so Stu what brings you out uh, I want to see the kid. I want to see the kid do do well, and and uh, you know, obviously, I love Cherokee's nearby. I love racing the Enduros. I have never sat on this side of it, so it's uh, it's it's a long waiting game, and it's and it's it's cool because you get to see the times, but at the same time, it's so blind being on this side of it. And you can't see a lot of the racing. You can't see sure the racing. You, you don't know what's going on, and you're sitting there, refresh, refresh, refresh. You see it come in, and you get stoked for that one second it's, it's totally different but no it's uh it's good like obviously you know my brother and, and a lot of my buddies here and, and Ryder he's been staying with me and and it's it's good to come out here and and like I said it's close it's fun and and it's and it's definitely different it's a whole lot more different than being out there on the track and racing with these guys but you know it's uh it's fun I, I wouldn't miss it what do you think is the difference as far as like with Ryder um, lately hanging out and doing some stuff you think it's just riding in a different terrain riding you know being with these other guys or you know I think I think what I what I'm seeing in Ryder is is he's ridden so much sand so you see his you, you see when he first came down I saw his his lines were driving to the middle of the corner which is great in the sand because because you know it's gonna hold he's changed his line set up and his his pace is you know like we just talked about where his hundred percent was last year he's able to ride at 80 percent and maintain and you of all people know when you're at 80 percent you can maintain that race all day long nail your lines and and eliminate mistakes and i mean you know as far as i know i don't think he's had a mistake all day long and and at, at a when you're talking 100 miles of blind trail or 60 racing miles of blind trail those little mistakes and and eliminating those is is what takes the rider to the next level and obviously you know that's you see the guys that have that one good day that one good race but the last three races, I mean, Ryder's been there. He's been consistent, and he's showing that he's he's figured out how to get to that next level, and and he's able to pace himself and and race the track, race the way that he rides, and not worry about anything else. You gonna come back and race at all towards the end of the year? I think so. You know, with uh, with them canceling the next National Enduro, obviously that's a bummer. I mean, I, I hate to see these races being canceled, but for me personally, that gives me an opportunity to give myself a little bit more time to get comfortable on a bike and and hopefully only miss one round, which obviously, you know, Ben's a little bit, uh, he's just coming back, he's a little bit off. Um, 
Josh missed round round one, and we saw Grant last year able to make a second place um, comeback after missing the first round. So, you know, missing a race, I'm not saying it's the end of the world. Obviously, it changes things, but I think, you know, that is almost a blessing in disguise. You still have a chance yeah. towards the end of the year, and yeah, definitely. especially for what you got going on if you come back and do a ride. Definitely. I mean, when I get back on the bike, I'm just going to see if I can run with the young kid, and if I can't ride with him, then. So, what out. happens if you come back and rider is faster than you? I guess I'm just going to have to. Uh, just train him and live, <laughs> live vicariously through him. <laughs> trust me, trust me. I dealt with that whole pro, pro, process, buddy. So it, it's yeah, it's hard to deal with. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, no, I, I, uh, you know, when when Grant got faster than me a couple of years ago, it's a, it's a lot to wrap your mind around. You're like, I like, I, I, uh, I, I know what he's doing, right. and, and he's still being faster than I yeah. am. So, no, I mean, like I said, when I come back, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend some laps with this guy, and, and if. Uh, if I can run with him, we're coming back racing. If he's smoking me, I'm just going to throw a pit board and right sit here and smile. <laughs> Thanks for coming, by. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. It.